darlings, it's mummy, Sybil Brunchen. And again, I wish my phone was filming this as beautiful as it is. Um, it, my phone is making it a little brighter and, and more pastel than it is. The, the sky is literally ablaze with color right now. Um, it's Sunday night. It's December, whatever, 12th. Um, and I'm out on my deck with my Christmas lights and there's our kitchen inside. And this is our deck and there's our next door neighbors and our next door neighbors over here don't have their lights on, but we have them out. I'm putting out more strings of lights out here and a little wreath. This is our back deck and this is our view. It's funny when we moved here, and we're in one of those little mainline suburbs outside of Philadelphia. When we moved here, you could tell by the, the trees, if you use your imagination, uh, and then the trees across the street, you couldn't see anything. Uh, this deck, when we looked at it, was completely enclosed in thick green foliage and was wonderful. The sun was high enough that it would hit the deck, and, and there's my little pots. I only have three now <laughs> to think that in the grove, in Cherry Grove, I have 60 pots um, <laughs> of plants. But here I have three to start. Uh, anyway, and of course we have no furniture or anything yet. Um, but anyway, this whole area was forested. Uh, and these are newer trees, but up there on the on the mountainside, you could see old growth trees. And, and well, we're, we're in a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful uh, area of this town. It's, it's as, as new McMansion neighborhoods go, this is a, a prettier one than most. Um, some people have Christmas lights up. Uh, you could see them there. You could see over there. And then around the corner here, there's some huge d displays. And as you walk through these different streets and up and down these hills and other little courtyards, it's amazing the displays that are out. Also, there's a huge Indian and Pakistani um, community here, and they have uh, they celebrate Diwali which is their Festival of Lights, which was a couple of weeks ago, and that's their version of New Year's. So anyway, I just wanted you to see this sunset. I wanted you to see our little Christmas lights. Um, I'm putting out like three more strings, so this will be laden with white lights, and you've seen our front display. And I just wanted to wish you a, a happy Sunday evening. I hope that you're, you're doing things that are, you know, even with the COVID catastrophe, that you're... Um, trying to find ways to be merry and bright and cheerful and appreciative. And uh, just as these children down here, thank goodness in the distance with all their screeching and yelling, um, but one does love them, doesn't one? You can see them down there. See, they're running about. Um, I hope that you're remembering my advice and the advice that I have to keep reminding myself of, which is to be present, to be mindful, and to be grateful because everything you see and smell and touch and taste and hold in your hand and in your and behold in your eyes and hold in your heart it's all just borrowed darlings it's all just borrowed this blazing sunset it's the only one it will never happen again this sunset in this situation with these lights blinking and these lights here and everything around us this is the only time it will happen so, throw your arms open, look around you, see the people you need to see, see the animal friends that you need to see, look at the house plant that you just bought and are nurturing to keep it going, whatever it is, the food you're tasting, the music you're listening to, and remember, everything is borrowed. Everything is borrowed. Savor it, enjoy it, love it. Good night, darlings.